what would you say your hopes are for this season for the Browns? You know, could you I reference? I hope we go to the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. Northeast Ohio has been a, a, seen as a site of loss. We want a winner, we want one now. Why can't Cleveland win anything? I don't want a winner, I just want to be fucking competitive. Oh, come on! That's bullshit! I'll probably die watching a Browns game having a heart attack when they fumble the ball with two seconds left on the goal line. It's just very, very emotional for us. Let me ask any human being that's out there, if you ever had four or five years where things didn't go your way, you You get up in the morning and you're like, they could win today, and you start, you know, thinking about it, and you're like, you know, they could win. And then the game starts, and you're just like, hey, we can't win this game. I'm a Browns fan. We're not going to the Super Bowl anytime soon. <laughs> That'd be great, though. Two straight Super Bowls were won by Bill Belichick and Art Modell. The two guys that were responsible for taking the original Browns out of Cleveland. So you need to come to Baltimore where there's some money. I get sick to my stomach thinking about it. Art Modell needed some Let's money. Because I was there in Cleveland when he ruined that team. Cleveland mobilized and said, we are getting our team back, so there. We changed the way every owner in every sports league looks at moving their team. Now. That's not a bunch of people who sit back and do nothing. That's a bunch of people who feel like they can take action. There was a period in Cleveland where the working class was the lifeblood of the city. The working class were the heroes. It's just blue collar football for a blue collar town. We put up with a whole lot of garbage as Browns fans. You gotta be tough to live in Cleveland, you gotta be tougher to be a sports fan. We keep coming back year after year. It's just something to deal with when you're from Cleveland. You've never been able to be a Browns fan and uh, we're used to that. You get sick, you get tough. One thing that the drive, the shot, the fumble, and the 97 series all had in common was the fact the sun came up the next day. It's the sort of place where people will treat football as a religion. God, I'm sorry, and I still pray for a Browns victory, and please save my soul. Now let's sing our religious songs. We are going to sacrifice him at halftime. You can bring a bottle of wine, get bread, you would have communion on the bus. And even if it's not winnable, you're still nervous. Like, yeah. I mean, they'll be down by 17 and with four minutes left. You're like, you know, theoretically, we have the ball right now. Yeah, yeah. We can score on one play, get an onside kick, score again, get an onside kick, kick field goal. Yeah. There's been the hope that that one day it's going to pay off. You never know when you walk into Brown Stadium if you're going to see history that day. Well, it doesn't take much to get a Browns fan excited. <laughs> we got a new hope. It's a new era. Get a first down and we're ready to go. <laughs> I want to see a consistent winning team. You have this team that hasn't done well, but still are part of your identity and who you are, your belief that ultimately you're going to win. Oh, who needs a whiskey drink? <laughs>